Hello, it's Crafty Rhea, and I am here with you today to make some Easter cards. I know we're getting down to the wire, but I do have some that I really need to mail out, so I'm going to make a few with you here on video today. Today I have some goodies over here that I received in Happy Mail, and I'm gonna use those as embellishments. I have this Easter ribbon, and I have a couple of papers and a cut apart from the Echo Park Easter collections. So I thought these would be fun to use as well. And I have a piece of pink cardstock that I think goes good with that. So I will set these aside. The first one I want to do is using this basket. I will set these other guys aside. I have a fun idea for this. You know I can't decide which side of the paper <laughs> to use. So I'm going to do one of those cards that show both sides of the paper. And I thought this would look really good on here because of these diamond shapes and then this has the gingham so it matches quite well I think and I think this little guy goes so cute with it but I don't want to waste the other side because look at these bunnies they're so cute so let's go ahead and use both sides of this paper on one card I have um, a card base what I took was a an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. I folded it in half the long way at four and a quarter and then I cut it in half at five and a half. And I'm going to use one of those card bases to go with this paper here. I think it goes good with the pink and it also goes good with the bunnies on the back. So. I have my standard A2 size card base and I'm just going to open it and I'm going to cut one inch away from this fold on one side. So I'm just, it's going to leave me a one inch flap on the front. So I'm going to line it up in here. And I'm going to line the fold on the one inch mark here so it cuts the rest of that piece of paper off. So that leaves me a one inch flap. And then I'm going to cut this piece of paper down to fit there. So I do need to trim it here and here and in this direction we have of course four and a quarter but I want to come about a little ways in how about if I cut it at four and that'll leave me a quarter of an inch on the other side you'll see what I mean in a minute and I'm going to trim this to five and a half Okay, so we have our card base with one inch flap, and we have this extra piece of cardstock that measures four by five and a half. And I want it to go in here like this. And so then when you open up the card, you have this full piece on the inside. Okay, so I'm going to put some adhesive right along here, but not too close to the fold. And I went over the edge, so I just want to bring that back in. Creighton, my African gray, says hello. Actually, he just whistles. You know, he doesn't really say hello. 
he says hi and bye, but he doesn't say hello. I want to make sure my bunnies are facing the right way. And then I'm going to take this piece and line it up on the card like that, top, bottom, and edge. And then I'm going to fold that over, get rid of my extra adhesive. get it rid of any adhesive on the inside there. And that's what I'm left with. So I have this card like this. It reminds me of a composition book. And then that's what's on the inside. Getting rid of any extra adhesive. That adhesive runner I use um, the adhesive comes right off with your finger. Now, if you have any uneven edges here, now you can trim them up. Mine seems to be okay. And this and the bunny will look really cute on here. I do want to put a little bit of decoration on this side. And I have some of the stickers from the um, Echo Park I don't remember which set this is from, one of the Easter sets. I cut off the saying, Hello Easter, or something like that. So anyway, I'm going to take a piece of this red or pink. I think this would look really cute. And just run it right up the side. And I'm just going to eyeball it so it goes right up there. And I'm just going to trim this off at each edge. And I'll put this back. All right, I have this, it's like a little Easter basket. And I'm not sure, it's from some designs. I don't have the whole piece, so I'm not exactly sure where it is from. I'll put some adhesive on the back. If you're watching and you know where this is from, or if it was you that sent it to me in happy mail, please let me know. I didn't mark who sent it to me. And I'm going to have it hang over the edge just a little bit. And that leaves a little room for this bunny, but I want to pop him up on some foam dots I'm using some of the leftovers which are great because these little pieces will go like right up to his ears So I have a piece in each of his ears or her ears. It could be a girl. I'm not sure if it's a boy or a girl. And on this sticker page from Hello Easter from Echo Park, I have this little Easter egg 
that I thought sort of matched the Easter eggs that were in there. So I'm just gonna set that down here at the bottom. Or maybe he should hold it. No, he's too big. I'll put that down there at the bottom as if it fell out of the Easter basket. All right, so that card is done. And let's go ahead and do the other card. So for this card, I'm going to use just a white card base. I'm going to use this paper as my background paper. That is going to be my sentiment. So let me go ahead and trim it all out. This is an A2 size card base, four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'm gonna cut this down to be four and one eighth. I'm actually going to cut it from this side so I have part of the eggs there. And it has part of eggs on both sides. And then I'm gonna do this one by five and three eighths. This here, I'm going to trim down and get rid, rid of some of that extra white space around it. And then I'm going to mat it on this pink. There we go. And I just eyeball it when I'm at it. I don't measure. And I think we'll use that as the background and put that there. And before I adhere it to the card, I want to adhere my ribbon to this piece. I think that will be good right there. Just put some adhesive on the back of the ribbon. Add a little extra adhesive on the back so it holds down tight. And then I will adhere this to the background or the card base. And I will put this up on some of the foam adhesive as well. I'll put a piece of this in each corner. I'll peel off the backings and stick it on the card. And that way it gives it a little bit of dimension I have these little pieces that I received in Happy Mail. It already says Happy Easter, so I don't need that one. I think this one on the yellow background will stand out pretty good. And I will just put that right there. I always like to put an embellishment on my ribbon. That's just kind of what I like to do. I'm not going to raise this up on a pop dot because it already is raised and then that piece is already raised.
There we go. And that card is complete. So we have these two cards made super easy, super fast. Let me go ahead and do one more with some of the scraps. I have this other light pink card base. I have that scrap. So I have these scraps left over. I also have these two scraps that were in my drawer, which I may use, I'm not sure. I thought I would do sort of a paper piecing. Oh, that might be good. And... Maybe even if I went over that way with that one. This might be really cute. And go over this way or maybe just that. Okay, so I was playing around with my paper and I kind of like that. And I love these two little guys to go in the corner. And I found this sticker that says, let's go on a hunt. And it has all the Easter eggs and there's Easter eggs here. So I think we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna start by putting this piece across the top. I'm gonna use my smaller paper runner tape runner just because it's easier on these small pieces and I will mark this where I want to cut it And we'll put that there. And if I can get this up. <laughs> All right, I have this piece. I'm going to put like that. Just to add a little bit of dimension.
there. That's really cute. And one of these here, maybe this one here, and this one up here, only because that blue will blend in a little bit too much. Let me get my sticker. There we go. And we have these two cute things. I guess I could also use glue to put these down. I'm going to have to fix that here. Make sure it is the way I want it to be. There we go. And this one is going to be the same way. I don't think there's a front or a back. There we go, that's a paper pieced card. It has quite a lot going on, but I think it's really cute. So we have three cards done. Now I could keep going and do more color blocking with those cards or with those scraps, but I will save that for another project. And then of course, since I'm the queen of bling, I went ahead and got my bling box. I want to see what I have that I could put on these. I happen to have this piece that is just about as long as this. So I'm just going to kind of stick this right there. I do want some bling up here, and I have this pretty blue, I think, that would go good up there. Let me get a longer piece. So we have some bling at the top and the bottom. I think that's really cute. And this one here, I have this multicolored bling that I thought I would put all around the square. Just right along that white edge. It is my favorite embellishment of all time. There we go, that looks really pretty. Reminds me of a marquee sign. And then for this one, I have some purple bling, a whole new package, because I used up all my other, if you can imagine such a thing. As many of you know, purple is my favorite color. So we have some pretty purple there. I'm going to put one little piece of purple in the center of his bow tie. I will put the other little stray one in the center of that flower. 
And then for the insides, I'm gonna use some of these stickers. This one, I'm gonna use this Hippity Hoppity Easter's on its way. And I'm just gonna put that right there as my sentiment since it does match the paper on the front. This sticker here, Easter Bunny coloring eggs, hop, 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 and hopping down the bunny trail, happy Easter, dying eggs, family memories. I'm just gonna put that on the inside of this card. And this one, I'm going to put Easter blessings on the inside of this. I think it goes really good and it has an outline of pink so I don't have to mat it on anything. All right, so here we go. Here are the three cards that I made. I hope you enjoy them. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it inspires you to make some last minute Easter cards and send them out to friends. If you haven't yet joined my Facebook group, Create with Crafty Rhea, I'd love it if you would join us over there. It's a great family of crafters. The ladies there are so nice and so helpful to each other. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please click on that subscribe button down there. And while, while you're there, click on the bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. I am almost to 2,000 subscribers, and once I am there, I'll be doing a wonderful giveaway. So you will want to be a subscriber and pay attention in some of my videos. I will be having a couple of trivia questions, and they won't be very hard. If you've watched my videos, you'd probably be able to answer them really easily. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate you. And until the next video, you know what to do. Go get crafting. Bye-bye.